Welcome, hello, my name is Peter. This is a painting video sponsored by Squarespace and big shout out to all the people that are watching in 2024. Go ahead and leave a comment if you're watching in 2024. This is my little investment in the future to get a few comments in two years. Uh, it's 2022 right now, just the beginning, but maybe it'll work, let's see. I mean, you can leave a comment right now whenever you're watching, but. Hello, future people. Uh, look, this video is about painting, but I want to talk about this, this mental phenomenon I've been experiencing recently, just to see if any, I mean, I'm sure there are other people that have been experiencing it. Just give me some feedback, okay? Basically, what has been happening, and this has been happening for a lot of my life, and I'm just not sure if it's a good thing, a bad thing, a medium thing. Basically what happens is, for almost all of the time, I constantly feel like I'm on the edge of something big, right? I constantly feel like I'm about to figure out something amazing. I, I almost always feel like I'm about to have some incredible breakthrough. And I think this has upsides and downsides. Some of the upsides include that it's, I mean, it's kind of an encouraging feeling. It's a little bit exciting, right? Because I think, hey, maybe e each little thing I do, each little thing I, th I, I learn and, and figure out, every little bit of progress I make, whether it's just learning something or learning a new skill or really anything that happens to me in, in life, I think, hey, maybe this will be the thing that just kind of pushes me over that edge and then something will click and then that big thing will happen that changes my life forever. But I think the downside here is also pretty obvious. I, this could be complete, total, and utter delusion. Like maybe I'm just going through life completely normal, nowhere near any sort of crazy major breakthrough. But then how would I ever really know either? I guess may, part of the problem is you these kind of like accidental breakthroughs, people stumbling upon um, big changes in their lives, you hear about these. These are the ones that get made into stories that get published and told over and over again, but they don't happen very often, even though you hear about them pretty often, right? So it's unrealistic to expect it to happen to me, even though I feel like it might happen to me at any moment. You know, the classic you know story of how Reese's, Reese's peanut butter and chocolate cups were made, you know, apparently someone was, you know, coming down the stairs with some chocolate and someone else coming up the stairs with some peanut butter and they collided and the rest is history. I'll get back into this in a moment, but first let's look at a bit of Squarespace art. You might notice in this painting that I had a bit of trouble fitting all my letters in the right way, but... If you customize your own Squarespace website, you can select one of their many beautiful templates and it's not hard to fit everything into one of their websites. You can drag and drop all the different modules. They have modules for everything you could think of. They just automatically adjust the size. They have little bars to drag and adjust the size. It's very intuitive and easy. And if you can't figure anything out, they have very quick responses from the customer support team. So go ahead and scroll through all the different wonderful templates they have. Whatever you're into, whatever you need a website for, Squarespace is there for you. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain. But the more I think about this issue of me always feeling like I'm on the edge of a major breakthrough and feeling like this for years and years and years and I guess never actually having a major breakthrough, uh, like a life-changing, world-altering breakthrough, uh, the more I realize that there are many ups and downs. And I think it's compounded, bo both the ups and downs are compounded by the fact that I like at least recently, I've liked reading like lots of nonfiction books, which 
contain lots of stories about breakthroughs like this. Like right now I'm reading, uh, I think the book is called Just the Gene or something like that. I think the art, author's name is Siddhartha Mukherjee or something. Like, I, I might be pronouncing that wrong. But basically it's a long story of genetics and stuff like that and the past, the present, the future of genetics. And it, it has lots of cases of people having breakthroughs. And it's inspiring for me, but it feeds my own urge to have my own breakthrough. But the thing is, there are a lot of breakthroughs in these stories, but if you look into them, you notice that a lot of these people don't, they, they rarely just randomly have breakthroughs, right? It's, it's not like a peanut butter and chocolate up and down the stairs sort of thing. It's usually after long long hours, weeks, years of work and study, they finally figure something out. Every now and then, it's when they randomly see some photo of a molecule or something, right? Or they attend some lecture, something clicks. But even those situations are after they're already experts and they already have the right thoughts bouncing around their head to connect with whatever they were, whatever caused the event or whatever right but but i think that's also what causes me to want to read all these books because i think hey the more the more information i have in my head about any random thing you know genetics or i read i just i read some other books hey that you ever watched that movie um the big short right that was a good movie and then i read the book it was i i listened to that audiobook it was like 12 hours long i listened to it in one weekend while I was drawing and stuff. And like, just like, like I know nothing about finance, but that was a super interesting book. I don't know, for some reason, I just want all these little bits of information bouncing around in my head. And I just have this weird hope that somehow they will all connect and make something amazing. And I think that is some kind of delusion. It's like buying a bunch of random Lego pieces and then putting them in a box and shaking the box really hard and then pouring it out and hoping that something that they assemble into some incredible, completed, coherent, beautiful Lego set. So I don't think it's bad to ingest and consume a lot of interesting information and learn things, but there's got to be some focus and work to go along with it to help form it all, I guess. Anyways, maybe that's where this painting and stuff comes in. All right, see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. If any of this I just said made sense, but let me know if you ever, if any of you also had this urge to just, that you also feel like you're about to have some kind of life-changing breakthrough, like you're on the edge, like you're like, mm, I'm almost there. Something is going to, Maybe it's normal. All right. See y'all. Bye.